Right, welcome to my review of the Sheffield Wednesday victory last night. Uh, the reason it's so delayed is obviously because I didn't get back until one o'clock this, uh, this earlier this morning, and then playing five-side football as well first thing as well. So this is the first chance really I've had to do it, um, but it's given me the chance to digest the game and think a little bit more about what I saw last night because, again, not really blown away by the performance. Obviously, a fantastic result. Obviously. Amazing to be setting records like we have done. For the first time in the club's history, we've won four away games without considering a goal in succession, which is amazing. Uh, and extended our lead now before everybody else has played to seven points at the top of the table, which is fantastic. And I believe somebody mentioned this morning to me that it's the fastest anybody's got or the most points that some, a team has accumulated in the championship after this many games, which is amazing and fantastic. And it's sort of going back to the start of the season where everything was built on this solid defence. If you think back to the games against uh, Derby and against Middlesbrough, and even Yeovil and Leicester, those sort of pre-season and League Cup games early on, they were built on solid defence and John Ruddy, Conor Cody and Willie Bolly yesterday were very, very good. Ruddy didn't have many saves to make, but he did have a couple in the first half which he saw to really easily and then came and dealt with lots of balls into the box. So there was one point where he ran 18 yards out in the first half and failed to clear it, but... He didn't really have anything to do at all in the second half because of the good defensive work that the back three did. I did feel like at the end of the first half, Ryan Bennett came under a lot of pressure from Jordan Rhodes and could have been easily sent off uh, from some clever sort of play by uh, Jordan Rhodes in that in that period of the game. And I think, having listened to some of the thoughts of other people after the game, I think Bennett was lucky to get away with just a yellow card from that. Going forward, I think yesterday we lacked bite. We created a few opportunities, but we didn't test the keeper anywhere near enough. We looked very good on the counter-attack and got Costa and Jota were, had a couple of darting runs, but there was, as a, there was a distinct lack of end product yesterday, and their keeper, I don't think, made a save in the second half. A couple of shots off target. Ryan Bennett had the best chance of the half when he got moved to right wing back. Uh, back post, he tried to square it back rather than put in a, you know, a decent shot on goal. The goal itself from Neves was a, a top class goal, uh, passed into the court, right into the corner of the net. Whereas I think other players in the championship would have leathered the ball and it would have gone wide. He really took his time and showed his class in that moment. Uh, and he as well had a good game, I thought, in the midfield. Sice less so, but Neves controlled the game, used the ball well. His distribution again is fantastic. Uh, the one thing that I think yesterday highlighted in particular was our sharpness in attack needs to be improved. Uh, we should really be scoring more than one goal against a team like that. We've also now had the last three games and four of the last five games we've been playing against 10 men for the last 15 to 20 minutes. And apart from the Leeds game, we haven't capitalised on that either. And having that extra man, particularly with our speed in attack, should be scoring more goals I think. However, all of that being said, these are games, particularly the last three games, that in the past we would have dropped more points. We've picked up seven points and we haven't conceded a goal, which is amazing because I can think in last season and the season before and many, many other seasons, we would have lost against Sunderland, we'd have drawn against Blues and we'd have drawn or lost last night at Hillsborough. So I think all of that being taken into consideration and the half the season gone now nearly, I think we've got one late, one game left until we've played everybody. Nobody at the start of the season expected us to be where we are. I'm over the moon with the position that we find ourselves in. But what I want to see now in January is this to bring in another striker, a different striker to Bonatini because he's played an awful lot of football this half of the season. And he's played very, very well. He's one of the top scorers in the division. But I just think that as the team now, as a collective, we need a different type of striker to bring on. Because Ena Bakari is not good enough, I think, for this level at the moment. Uh, and I just think we need somebody like a battering ram. I'm watching Jordan Rhodes yesterday get in amongst and really giving our defenders some problems. We lack a little bit of that. At the moment, we're grinding out results a lot. Uh, and we're not too far away, I don't think, from clicking again. Obviously, the Christmas when the games are coming thick and fast, 
we're picking up points and we're hopefully going to pull away from the rest of the division. Let me know your thoughts on yesterday's game over that 50 point mark now before halfway through the season is amazing considering we only got 55, 58 points something like that at the end of last season. It's amazing. I think we're probably realistically seven or eight wins away from securing a place in the playoffs as well. That's unbelievable at this stage in the season and we've got to keep on growing and building and improving the team to make sure that if we get promoted in May we're ready for the Premier League. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.